Hey, what's up, everybody? It's me, Jade, and I'm here with Europe from Too Close Minded. Make sure you check out their blog; it's amazing. And we're about to get started with this interview. When I was in, like fifth grade, my sister and I are two years apart. We really, really, really wanted to start singing, and my parents didn't really know like what we could do. Um, what they could do to help us out to get started because they don't know anything about that. But they knew that we lived in the Atlanta area, so there's it was a place with a lot of opportunities. So we ended up finding a vocal studio and we started taking lessons in Buckhead and then we started writing our own stuff and just linking up with people um, really like in school who were doing music and from there you meet one person who knows somebody that's uh, doing bigger things than them and you just keep trading off and that's basically where I am right now. At first, I was so nervous not to be in a group because when you're in a group, you really do vibe off of each other and if people have negative things to say or whatever, it's coming at the group. As I've gotten older and as I've gotten more comfortable with my sound and my music, I write all my music so to me it's like if you don't like my stuff, then that's your opinion and that's because of style. I released an EP called Love and Other Drugs and I did it with a really, really, really good friend of mine. His name is Natural Disaster. He does a lot of um, like old hip hop influenced stuff and that's what I love because all the songs on there are very edgy. They're not typical contemporary R&B. For every song we shot a video um, with Brandon Lee Sanders, super, super talented and I was styled by a Ski Abdul and they're so awesome. Everybody that we work with um, for the videos is so 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 talented and I back their work a hundred percent so it was really fun because they're, my, they're of course we are friends in business but they really are my friends so everything was really fluid and the visuals are beautiful and I really really can't wait to release those so I'm super excited about that. I was out in LA and I was working alongside a great friend of mine an amazing 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 artist her name is Saya and she's from Brooklyn we met in Atlanta um, at Sean Garrett's uh, single release party last year so we went out there to work with her she's Tank's artist and she's amazing so uh, we just did some work and um, another friend of ours Tez McClain who's an Atlanta hip hop artist as well we worked with him so it was a great week and I got to uh, meet Kevin McCall and chill with Iggy Azalea in the studio so it was a really great experience I would say my personal style um, is a reflection of my music and definitely my personality. I'm pretty eclectic when it comes to the things that I wear because I like to wear a lot of different things. Boys clothes and shoes, like my shoes are boys right now <laughs> and I have on boys pants but um and a boy shirt and a boy shirt <laughs> but um I love men's clothes. It's like a playful preppy cross on like um a tomboy-ish like military Americana swag. The top three things I can't leave my house without are definitely my mascara, because I'm a mascara freak, I am obsessed with it, and my snob lipstick by MAC, always gotta have it, and usually some type of like body spray or perfume. <laughs> I have a thrifting obsession, and that's not just because of the craze lately. I recently have had my nails done, like, I've been getting my nails done since like fifth or sixth grade. <laughs> I have an obsession with having them done. Always some crazy color. My dad's always like... Look at me like I have some ghetto crazy nails, but it's fun. Everybody will tell you I'm the worst texter ever. I hate texting. People want to have conversation. I'm like I'm a very talkative person, but of course that's like if we're in person. But if people are just texting me, to I'm like, I'm like, as a person and as an artist, I just want my legacy to be um, someone who's stuck to um, what, like, to what meant most of them because. Like I was saying earlier, the biggest thing about my music to me is it's my music, so, and it's coming from my pen, so I'm gonna write what I like. 
and um, I just want people to um, even if things are just raw like I'm doing th I do things with intention and um, that that everything I always have good intentions and it comes from a good place and um, that I was I just want people to know that I just want to leave the legacy that I was creative and um, that I thought outside the box and uh, um, approach everything with an artistic approach and yeah. I'm here with Europe from Too Close Minded. Make sure you check out their blog, it's amazing. And make sure that you tweet me on Twitter at the name is Jade. And if you look at my bio, you can find everywhere else to find me. Make sure you look at my videos on YouTube so you can get to know me.